Today, we dive into the life of a man whose name is synonymous with power, wealth, and American capitalism. John Pierpont Morgan, or J.P. Morgan, as we know him, was a titan of industry whose influence shaped the American economy in ways still felt today. J.P. Morgan was born on April 17, 1837, in Hartford, Connecticut. But make no mistake, his family was anything but ordinary. Morgan was born into a world of wealth and privilege. His father, Junius Spencer Morgan, was already an accomplished banker and played a crucial role in young Morgan's path to greatness. The family had deep roots in both American and European financial networks, which would serve J.P. Morgan well in the years to come. Education was a priority for the Morgans. J.P. Morgan attended several prestigious schools, including the English High School of Boston, where he excelled in mathematics. After that, he was sent to Europe to continue his education, studying at the University of Göttingen in Germany. His time in Europe not only shaped his understanding of global finance, but also gave him a chance to learn French and German, languages that would prove useful in his future international banking endeavors. After completing his education, Morgan returned to the U.S. and started working in banking, quickly proving himself. By the age of 24, he had already established his own firm, J.P. Morgan & Company. Through shrewd investments and strategic partnerships, Morgan became one of the most powerful men in finance. His involvement in the reorganization of railroads, steel, and electricity sectors cemented his status as a financial genius. He was the driving force behind the creation of U.S. Steel, the world's first billion-dollar company, and was instrumental in the founding of General Electric. Morgan's influence was so great that during the Panic of 1907, when the American financial system was on the verge of collapse, he single-handedly organized a group of banks to bail out the U.S. economy. Without J.P. Morgan, America might have faced an economic disaster of historic proportions. Like his business, J.P. Morgan's personal life was marked by highs and lows. In 1861, Morgan married his first wife, Amelia Sturgis. Tragically, Amelia died of tuberculosis just months after their marriage. In 1865, he married Frances Tracy, and together they had four children. Despite his immense wealth and public life, Morgan was known to keep his family life quite private, though his stern demeanor often led to a reputation for being emotionally distant. J.P. Morgan was a man of contradictions. On the one hand, he was a financial savior, rescuing banks and stabilizing the American economy. On the other hand, many criticized him for his ruthless business tactics. He was a master of consolidating companies into monopolies, and this earned him a reputation for being a robber baron, a term used to describe those who amassed fortunes by exploiting workers and eliminating competition. For many, Morgan represented both the best and the worst of American capitalism. Here are a few surprising facts about J.P. Morgan that you might not know. He was an avid art collector, spending millions of dollars to build one of the most impressive private art collections in the world. Many of the pieces now reside in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Morgan had a noticeable facial disfigurement due to a skin disease called rosacea. It gave him a famously large discolored nose something he was reportedly very self-conscious about. Morgan was a huge fan of cigars, smoking at least 20 a day. His offices were known for being filled with cigar smoke. He owned several yachts, with his favorite being the Corsair. He famously said, you have no right to own a yacht if you ask how much it costs. As with many titans of his time, even J.P. Morgan could not escape the inevitability of death. In 1913, at the age of 75, he traveled to Rome in the hopes of improving his failing health. But it was in a hotel room there that he passed away quietly on March 31, 1913. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy continued to shape global finance long after he was gone. Today, the bank that bears his name, J.P. Morgan Chase, is one of the largest financial institutions in the world. His contributions to American banking and industry left an indelible mark on the nation. Whether you view him as a hero or a villain, there's no denying J.P. Morgan's monumental role in shaping the financial world as we know it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the lives of history's most fascinating figures. Until next time.